So uh, here we go. Uh, this is what America has become. Uh, Sarah Palin visited the White House uh, to see Donald Trump, her old friend. Now she had wanted to visit in a more official capacity, both in 2008 when she would have had an office nearby, uh, but also when she uh, backed Donald Trump, she of course wanted it. Uh, to have some sort of government position, as did Newt Gingrich and Rudy Giuliani and Chris Christie, all these people who gave political fealty to Donald Trump got squat. Uh, they got a photo opportunity. Uh, cold hard cash uh, rules the day. So everyone who gave campaign donations in the millions got cabinet positions. Sarah Palin got, uh, well, <laughs> I don't know if she considers it a happy or a sad day as she got a picture with Ted Nugent and Kid Rock at the Oval Office. So there's the picture right there. Kid Rock's wife and Nugent's wife are also there. And congratulations, America, this is what you voted for. So of course, on Twitter, there's a lot of people who wait, and I'll just give you a couple here. Catherine Kruger says, so this is what hell looks like. And then John Favreau used to work with the Obama White House with my favorite one, and he says, this is the day that Donald Trump became president. <laughs> Mocking all the people in the mainstream media who've been saying that about him. To me, as we look at that picture, it is worth a thousand words. I mean, first of all, you've got the conservatives who say that they hate liberal Hollywood, but the minute there's anyone who is vaguely a celebrity, they love surrounding themselves with it, including the guy in the middle who is a reality show host. And their other demigod in the Republicans, the other president, it was an actor. So they love, love, love celebrities. They just get the most loser variety. To be fair, Kid Rock's fairly large. Ted Nugent, on the other hand, is mainly known for crapping his pants to get out of Vietnam. So, and I believe his song about how he's a child molester and wants to sleep with someone's daughter nearby, which Mike Huckabee, who are very family values oriented, former governor of Arkansas and pastor sang with him. So uh, then we've got in that same picture, they say they're strong on defense, but wait a minute. Donald Trump got five deferments uh, out of Vietnam, including for a bone spur he can no longer locate on his body. He can't tell if it's on his right foot or his left foot because it never existed. His daddy got a doctor to write that note. And of course, Nugent, as I just told you, crapped his pants. And by the way, that is literal, and Ted Nugent is the one who said it. He said that he pooped in his pants and kept it there for about a week before he showed up so that he can get a, a mental deferment out of Vietnam. Well, one thing we do agree on is that he is mental, but that's the kind of coward that Ted Nugent is. And then they brag about it as if they're tough guys. And then. I remember when I was growing up, the Republicans said that they were the smart, rational ones and liberals acted out of emotion. Let me see the picture one last time. I think that we might have dispelled that notion once and for all. America, this is what you voted for, stewing it as if you're Ted Nugent's pants. Because that's kind of what's happened to the Oval Office. The real resistance is fighting against Trump and the establishment. Help us get investigative reporters that are going to investigate both of them. TYTnetwork.com slash go.